Hello, and welcome to this video. We're going to discuss open search index shard sizes and counts. Everything that I'll show you in this video corresponds to the GitHub repository that I have open. Most of this video I'll spend in the open search dashboard using the console to send API commands, and I'll actually show you how to adjust the number of primary and replica shards on an open search index. Before I do that, there is a little bit of background information that I want to cover. This background information is copied here in the first part of the README. In OpenSearch, an index is composed of shards. You can think of shards as the building blocks for an index. There are two types of shards, primary and replica shards. Each document that you send to an OpenSearch index belongs to a primary shard. Replica shards are copies of primary shards. Replica shards exist to help increase read throughput, and in the case of a node failure, we can promote replica shards to primary shards. Now, when you create an index in OpenSearch, it's important to think about the number of primary shards that you want to have. You have an option to specify the number of primary shards when you create an open search index. If you don't specify the number of primary shards, the default in the Amazon open search service is five primary shards and one replica, so a total of 10 shards. If you're self hosting open source open search, the default is one primary shard and one replica shard. The number of primary shards, again, is configured when you create an index. And once you set the number of primary shards on index creation, it's not easy to adjust it later on. The keyword there is easy. Of course, it is doable, which I'll show you how to do. But it's always best if you can get the number of primary shards right when you first create the index. The number of replica shards is much easier to adjust after an index is created. So you don't have to worry as much about getting the number of replica shards correct when you create the index. Now, why are we even talking about shard sizes or the number of shards? We're talking about it because it can affect performance. OpenSearch has an ideal shard size of 10 to 50 gigabytes per shard. We recommend a size of 10 to 30 gigabytes per shard for application search or read heavy workloads. And we recommend a size of 30 to 50 gigabytes for write heavy workloads, for example, log analytics. Now, a really common scenario that we see is too many small shards in an open search domain. And this can really hurt performance because metadata for a shard is stored in the JVM memory heap. And if you have too many small shards, you can exhaust memory just storing metadata. And then that memory isn't available for actual searching or writing activities. So what I'll do now is I'll pull up an open search domain and actually show you what it looks like to adjust the number of primary and replica shards. I have this open search domain open. We'll interact with the open search APIs. And the first command I'm going to run is get cat indices, which I have here. This shows us that there's one index on this open search domain, sample data 5.1. It has five primary shards and one replica shard. And the total size of the index is quite small, 4.6 KB. If I want more detail about this specific index, I can run cat shards. This will give me a list of all the shards that make up this index. You can see here that I have the 10 shards, the primary and replica shards. My primary shard sizes are quite small. 3.9 KB, 208 bytes. This index, since it's so small, would be better served by having one primary shard as opposed to five primary shards. This is a good example where I created this index and I didn't specify shard configurations on creation and open search just use the defaults, but the defaults weren't good for me because it's such a small index. So let's now go through the process of bringing this index down to one primary shard from five primary shards. To do this, we have to create a new index with the correct number of shards and then copy the data over. This again goes to what I was saying earlier on. It's easiest if you get the number of shards right when you first create the index. 
I'll create a new index, sample data 1, 1, which has one primary shard. So you see now when I'm creating this index, I'm specifying number of primary shards. And then OpenSearch has a re-index API, which can allow us to copy data between two indexes. I set the source as the sample data 5, 1, the index with too many shards. And I'll set the destination as sample data 1, 1, the index with fewer shards. Let's run this. And now we can confirm that this actually worked by doing get cat shards on the sample data 1, 1, the destination index. And you can see we have one primary index, one primary shard that's one point, sorry, that's 3.8 KB in size. So this is much better than the past index, which had five primary shards. Now that we've copied the data over, if we want to, we can delete the previous index that we copied from. To confirm that worked, we can do cat indices. Now you see we have this sample data 1.1. And moving forward, we can use the new index that we created and copied the data to, and the index where we set our primary shard size to our desired configuration. In our case, one primary shard. So to recap, if you're thinking about adjusting the number of primary shards, let me pull up the GitHub page here for you. I documented all these steps. We started with get cat indices, which showed us information on the indices and some high level metrics such as number of primary replica shards and total size. We then ran get cat shards to see the specifics of the shards inside of our index. In this case, the index name was sample data 5.1. And what we saw was that we had very small indexes. We wanted to make them bigger. So we wanted to reduce it from five primary indices to a single primary index. And then to actually adjust the number of primary shards, we created a new index with our desired shard settings. We re-indexed or copied the data to it, and then we deleted the previous index. So that's how you adjust the number of primary shards. What if we're talking about replicate shards? Well, adjusting the number of replicate shards is much easier. We're able to do this without the need of creating a new index and copying data over. We can simply use the settings API to adjust this. Coming back to where we're running our API commands, I can adjust my sample data 1, 1 index down from one replica to zero. Let me run this. And again, we can run our get cat shards, and we should see only a primary shard with no replicas. So that's how we can adjust the number of replica shards. Hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you and hopefully you're able to use this information to optimize your shard sizes and your shard counts to get the best performance from OpenSearch.